the job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? These nuts. <laughs> you got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually does keep fucking... me waiting. We just get ha no hired to be a hitman? Who's the guy? Wait, wait. Hubert. I got a side quest, want me to be a hitman. Him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building of Trinity Court, <laughs> opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. <laughs> You're like right in the middle of a cutscene. <laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> that <laughs> sucks. Move. I can't move. <laughs> I can handle it. Hey, let me... Hold on, hold on, I'm still in the bitch. Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Say, I gotta say sayonara. Word. Alright, come on. Come back in, baby. You know what this sign right here always reminds me of? Bert Kreischer. F I this always reminds me of him. What a magnificent man. Can you get off my cock? Fucking killed Jack? Made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Who's Susie? Who the fuck? Hey, this is Susie. Hey, Susie. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? what? Where? To their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe she it. She died. In. First birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. Oh, fucking... What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. We got, we got to kill that thing? What's up? UV light. You got a little dick. Little dick. Woo! <laughs> We're a little excessive. Don't check him. He's an uncommon. Like, what? What's going on here? What are we searching? Professor. Who has the crystals? They have it yet? Can't search on you searched. Hey, where'd you come from, dog? Where'd you go? <laughs> Sophie. Everything's been taken. They've been looted. Took them before you got there. Who loots Everything dead bodies? Off. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. Oh. Jack and We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit. Jack and Jill's about to get a thrill. Aiden, mm -hmm. how's it going? Ah. You're lying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Sentimental. 
I haven't said that to anyone since my third oh. divorce. Yeah, I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Fuck. Lucas's death. That's yep. all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Bitch. You're all dumb bitch. Here I come. Oh, shit, that's how he's kicking ass. You're flailing like a dumb bitch. You are not dead, 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 dead. Hmm? You don't die. Mm -hmm. Open, open, open. What the fuck is he doing? He's humping and shit. Do you hear him? Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Yeah. Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. He's a fucking zombie. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Fucking zombie, bro. Fucking zombie. I just like how the lady that we were talking to that was back, uh, that died, literally was just like, my friend, they took my friend, and they were like, yeah, 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 the crystals. <laughs> Where's the crystals? Yo. <laughs> Mia? Mia! <laughs> Mia? Why is there a random dude with us? What's the matter with you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mia, it's the same you? dream. You're not special, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, this is weird, we're in the same dream. Same dream, yeah, pretty fucking you, weird. Man. Goes to show you. Oh, no. oh shit, she's no. dead as no. fuck, dog. No. Bro. What's up with the fire? This is a hospital, not a hey. firefighter thing. Hey, man, you should probably get away from that. Someone's stabbing you. Who turned on the fucking flashlight? That guy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? It literally flashed him! Jack and, and then... Joe will pay for <laughs> He's what? just in there. <laughs> Well, I had fun. a bad feeling about it. Dude, he stuff. was reminiscing on I had a feeling times. called Plan Suck. What was that? Yet I let him lead. <laughs> Turn on the flashlight. Fuck, what happened? I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling called Plan Suck. Yet I, I let him Yo, lead. Yo, ask why did you say <laughs> Herman? Why did you say? Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. Amen. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He's a fucking zombie. Okay. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. I'm okay. sorry. The lights Fuck. in my shelter went out. <laughs> the infected broke through a window. <laughs> oh, Herman shit. blocked the path <laughs> and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. Oh, shit. Just don't like how he doesn't even try. Survive the explosion. Face-to-face <laughs> 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 battle is nearly unbeatable. A killer right. combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over like him. He could tell us, bro. He'd be like, I like point to his ear or some shit. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this okay. happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a like you, you were supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut I am up. a gazelle. What? If he'd have made it, he'd like be having a party, not awake. In case you change you? your mind. Where were you? Yeah, yeah, fucking silly bitch. He you didn't even care about ass. your fucking we'll friend that died. For the city the fucking smoking was... fucking crack. Uh. Yep. Birdie, to your help. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. 
He was ten years old. I like how we're watching him, like, That's watch pretty the pain young. away. <laughs> Too young. But he had no one else. Fake pain! So, I took him in. Bro, this is AI. This is AI. <laughs> if you manage to take out those bandits... It's all fake. Jack Cock and Joe what? Cunt. What? You think killing Monsieur Cock and Cunt will change something? Death <laughs> usually changes a lot in a person's life. <laughs> Carl was wrong. We should have gone after Joe the Joe Cock, huh? But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. How much did they pay her we'll to say that? him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. <laughs> Too much. I won't let them get away with killing my people. I Ralph, the voice actor, Susie, these are my people. Yeah, yeah, I tried to do the alien voice from Paul and it didn't work. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. My for people. <laughs> yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Word. Look at that. Uh, view. I saw here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. What? I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. What? It's yum. He wants to fuck. Yo, what the fuck? Are you just gonna stand there? Can't or let will us. You come over. I will come over right now. I'm telling you right now. He's gonna tell us that his boy. Our boys no good. What do you want? Give me my airheads, bitch. I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. What are you talking about, bitch? First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Well. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? Wink, wink. But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? <laughs> you helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. This is sketchy, bro. We're playing for both sides of the team. Can we just, like, move in between? <laughs> hey, guys, can you just build a bridge? <laughs> it looks like Sophie's not here. Where is Sophie? For? Where's Sophie? Just start barking at I'm her. looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. Who? But you can wait here with us. Where? If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend. No. I don't. What? Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think, think I was interested shit. in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Word. Which <laughs> doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Ka -da 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 -da. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. What? I think we just told her to meet us behind the bus loop, dude. <laughs> All right. Herman, it's better for the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. Have you seen Sophie? Hey, don't um, fuck. I'm looking for Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. He's drunk. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Oh, he's gonna call me a fucking pussy. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. He thinks he's tough. He's the hardest dude I know. 
And I'm, I'm not just talking about his cock. What's up, dudes? That's what murderers get. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said, the, uh, she went that way. <laughs> exactly. Thanks. She Wait. went. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with. Uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. broken. That. Uh, uh, oh. uh, Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, How no point messing with it. <laughs> uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Uh, Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier, with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop, but not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. The game's like, and stop. find him someday. <coughs> that was touching. Sorry, I had to do the most. I'm here. I'm the most. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them what? apart and eat the pieces! <laughs> Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me. ...and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. 
But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll Hit find out. Deeper shit. That's why you came to town. Nah, you gotta do the mystery yeah. shit. You can't just Sophie, straight up open talk. up. Oh. Okay, Time to act. Bitch the quicker we do this, the less prepared uh, Jack and Joe yeah, will be. That doesn't, that's not good. Aiden. Aiden. That's not good. <laughs> why you make them get At least started out. on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. It's fucking God. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Just gonna fast travel because I'm a bitch. <laughs> huh? Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe. And that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Oh, bandicoots! Not many guards. Shit. Most are probably asleep. 